So in my video Twitter vs iDubs part 2, I said if there was any more significant Twitter reactions to iDubs latest video against Froggy Fresh, that I would read them out for you. And of course, there was. Someone who was actually mentioned in iDubs video Boogie2988 made an entire video responding to iDubs titled, iDubs dragged me into his drama so I destroyed my wheelchair. <laughs> Work is amazing. Kind of sucks to see me and Jordy being used as a punchline for a joke or being used to prove a point. And he's not entirely wrong. I am an amateur boxer. This is my very first fight. But I think it still really sucks to see me and Jordy being used to prove a point or to make fun of the fact that we're trying to change our lives here and get better. Sometimes I needed this thing just to get around the house. And iDubs knows that because I met him in one of those wheelchairs. I think what I've accomplished in the last few years has been nothing short of a miracle. Not only did I lose 200 pounds and keep it off, but I went from needing a wheelchair almost everywhere I went to being able to walk around for miles at a time. In fact, I'm stepping in the ring. How many people in Creator Clash, Misfits, or anything else has gone from a wheelchair to stepping in the ring? Put that in the video, Ian. There's a lot more to that video, it's over 4 minutes long. I highly recommend you go check it out, I will leave the link to that in the description. Anyways, Keemstar reacted to this by saying, HOLY SHEET! Boogie made a content cop on iDubs laughing my fucking ass off! What timeline are we living in, Leafy is here? Shitpost Gateway quote tweets this Twitter video with the caption, Thought this was iDubs and Anisa for a second. <laughs> posts this Twitter video with the caption, Why does everyone hate iDubs now? For everyone saying the clips are out of context, yes, they are. It doesn't change anything at all whether he was making a grander argument or not. He was still making fun of people's appearances, lol. The fact that Harley trained with Sam Hyde for the year previous, uh, that was before Sam was saying this about my wife. I don't think so, Anissa. Bitch. Ho. Fucking Anissa. What an ugly piece of shit. But look how, look how beat she is. Oh, nice jack-o'-lantern teeth. That's like a I can't wait to see what she looks like when she's 32. Her teeth look like a like a pumpkin head. Like it's the Anissa Joma hole stretcher. I'm sending this to Anissa's OnlyFans. It goes directly into charity. Yeah. Everybody hates him, and his wife's a slut. So yeah, now that this guy is on the daily insulting my wife, I think it's pretty fair to you know not want to associate with him in any way. Straight off the bat, I want to let all the newcomers to my channel know that I'm perfectly fine with bullying. Make fun of someone because they're fat, autistic, or riddled with acne. I don't care. Make fun of better. Scarce is overweight. But more importantly than that, Scarce is boring. Ah, I'm not going to be talking about the kid today after showing a picture of his f***ed up snaggletooth to my millions of followers. A zoomed in picture of his f***ed up snaggletooth. Yeah, no, I'm not going to be talking about the kid today. I'm not going to talk about his f***ed up teeth. His teeth? The f***ed up thing in his mouth? I'm not going to talk about that. That would be a f***ed up thing for me to do. These things? Not going to do it. Not going to talk about those f***ed up nasty things. Avenue Brothers, more like money-grubbing Jews. Money-grubbing Jews end their fucking career. End their career. I say lynch them. Lynch those brothers. If you run a toy review channel, it's entirely necessary for you to have the most annoying voice on the planet. Giant, giant Barbie. At least I can hide behind the fact that I'm only 20 years old. No, you're an adult. You actually can't hide behind the fact that you're 20. I know what you mean, Leafy. I'm a young buck in my 20s just like you. And f*** all these old cats. They can't do cool young f like us. We can say retarded all the time because, hey, we're in our 20s. The Scrub King then ratios Alexis's tweet by saying, iDubbbz has had one of the greatest character arcs in YouTube history, and a whole lot of people are really mad that he grew up and became a reasonable, decent man and husband. Buggy D. Bussy responds by saying, Where's his apology and accountability for all the slurs he said? T-Rex9921 responds by saying, Two minutes into the video, he starts talking about how a lot of the content he's made has been irresponsible and misguided, and he's hurt many people with the content he's made, despite any entertainment value 
value given. He's put a lot of negativity and bad out and doesn't want to again. Buggy responds by saying, he also says, if you learned and grew with my content, I won't take that away from you, implying there was anything positive about his videos in the first place. He was clearly throwing that in there to dodge a stray from criticizing Froggy for the things he said that are almost adjacent to what Ian has said and done not too long ago. His own wife made it clear his morals haven't changed in the slightest. It's just his marketability online has. On the H3H3 podcast, I'll wait for that full video addressing his past to see if he takes full responsibility and is genuine. Betaniro responds by saying, You pay 8 bucks a month to write this kind of shit? Generalismo Snake says, Great character arc, becoming a pathetic weirdo with a mullet and bad tattoos and losing tens of thousands of subscribers. Okay? Goblin says, Joji did it better. Fuckhead Ultimate Piss Champ says, It's great he grew and changed, but the fact he takes every chance to throw his old content and fans under the bus, as well as obscure his current actions, like banning Froggy Fresh for associating with Sam Hyde, instead of just owning it properly, is what makes him detestable. Prolific Setback says, I feel so bad for him. They really just want him to be that 2017 edgelord in perpetuity and feel shafted that someone they adored can pivot to become a better person, while they've spent the last few years is making being insufferable their key personality trait. Kuzi Costana says, Legitimately, if you were on this level of, Idubs has grown! Cuckoldery, what are you even supporting? Oh, he was such an asshole for shitting on the paragons of Leafy, Keemstar, and Rice Gum. Now he's better for getting genuinely bothered by Sam Hyde. Kusi Costana also makes a quote tweet that says, You wouldn't even be able to compliment him for his character growth if he didn't do that older content. You just wouldn't even know who he is. Like Ethan, he's just a mediocre bore now. Only interesting because it his trolls. Baller Party quote tweets Scrub King and says, After being edgy and anti-PC is not financially profitable anymore. Uh, I'm mature now, guys. Anyways, check out these fat guys trying to box, lol. Bepsi posts this meme titled, Average Sam Hyde fans versus iDubs. <laughs>
finished iDubbbz video. It's him pretty much trying to deflect jabs from Sam Hyde. It's literally him admitting he got really triggered at Froggy interacting with Sam Hyde on Twitter. Pathetic behavior. Luna responds, he's been scrubbing comments non-stop. To which Zubu says, probably has Anisa's mom doing it. Comment Cop posts this image with the caption, iDubbbz is currently auto-deleting comments on his new video containing Sam Hyde, Candyman, Sam Hyde spelt with numbers, and possibly more. However, you can still bypass the filter using symbols, no spaces between between banned words, etc. A wavy web surf responds by saying, Puppet Master. Whitey quotes iDubs by saying, Either all of it's okay, or none of it is. Ellison says, Remember when he made fun of Leafy for filtering Chin in his comments? And speaking of Leafy, he tweeted out that iDubs randomly blocked him and said, LOL, okay. And then to end this all off, Nisa shows this comment from iDubs' new video that says, All of this was caused by a My Little Pony dating sim. And yes, I do finally know what that's referencing. As a couple nights ago, I actually watched the iDubbbz Sam Hyde documentary for the first time. I knew about it being a bit and iDubbbz getting tricked, but I never really went and watched the video. So I now know about the My Little Pony dating sim lore. And I do finally know that this picture that FPS Diesel tweeted out that I showed in my last video is not Brandon Buckingham, but a younger version of Sam Hyde. A lot of people pointed that out in the comment section of my last video that I got that wrong. I apologize. I think I just might be fucking retarded because uh, they don't look that much alike. On second glance, I guess. I don't know. But regardless, that's now fixed. So you can go back to making fun of me for mispronouncing things instead. And with that... I think I'm done talking about this iDub situation for the foreseeable future, unless something major pops up. I'm sure I'll have to do another Twitter versus when people react to the eventual video iDubs will make disavowing his old content, so if you're looking forward to that or seeing Twitter reactions to any other major drama situation that may go down, be sure to subscribe to this channel with notifications on so you don't miss anything. In the meantime, you can check out some of my older content for any drama you might have missed, but with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in another video.